gonna take you to the bed. To the blood bed. The world of martial arts is filled with legends, myths, and stories that captivate enthusiasts. Among these tales, the encounter between Bruce Lee and Steven Seagal stands out as one of the most intriguing due to their prowess in their respective martial arts disciplines. In this video, we will delve deeper into the truth behind this story. What was that? Bruce Lee and Steven Seagal are often considered the fathers of modern martial arts films. Both Lee and Siegel have revolutionized the portrayal of martial arts on screen. Let's dive into the martial arts styles of these two legendary fighters. Be more peaceful, like Jim. <laughs> Did it achieve that this time with you? Did you feel that uh, perhaps he, he learned something from you? Created by the legendary Bruce Lee, Jeet Kune Do, or JKD, is more than just a martial art. It is a profound philosophy developed by Bruce Lee to transcend the limitations of traditional martial arts. Instead of adhering to a single style, JKD incorporates the most effective elements from various disciplines. This fusion results in adaptable and practical techniques suitable for street fighting or real-world self-defense. This unique blend of martial prowess and philosophical depth makes Jeet Kune Do truly revolutionary in the martial arts world. JKD is not just about physical movements. It is also about mental and spiritual development. It encourages individuals to seek their own truths in martial arts, breaking existing boundaries, and reaching their highest potential, both in combat and in everyday life. Bruce Lee created Jeet Kune Do as an enduring legacy that continues to inspire and motivate martial artists worldwide to excel not only in physical capabilities, but also in personal growth and self-awareness. Bruce Lee showcased the effectiveness of his martial art in combat, notably during an encounter with a world karate champion at the California Karate Competition. This karate fighter was no easy opponent, boasting immense physical strength. He barely flinched when absorbing Bruce Lee's deadly combination attacks. In fact, this black belt karate master managed to take Lee down with a classic karate throw, followed by a front kick that sent Lee sprawling. However, with his Jeet Kune Do philosophy, Bruce eventually identified the Karate Master's weakness. A key principle of JKD is speed, and in this moment, Bruce Lee demonstrated rapid defensive and offensive combinations. The climax of the encounter came when Bruce Lee, seemingly suspended in midair, embodied the JKD philosophy of being like water, with an elegantly fluid motion, turning the tide of the fight. On the other side, Aikido is a Japanese martial art developed in the early 20th century by Morihei Ueshiba. It focuses on harmonizing with the opponent's energy rather than confronting it directly. 
Aikido techniques involve circular movements that redirect the opponent's force, using their momentum against them. Practitioners typically avoid direct confrontation, preferring to channel attacks into controlled movements. Aikido techniques emphasize efficiency using minimal physical force by applying joint locks, throws, and precise strikes. Combat in Aikido often involves manipulating the attacker's joints, such as the wrists, elbows, or shoulders, to disable or unbalance them. To defend, practitioners blend with incoming attacks, guiding the energy through circular motions. These techniques focus on disrupting the opponent's balance, making them vulnerable to neutralization. Aikido techniques can be adapted to various combat situations, making it versatile for different types of opponents and scenarios. Overall, Aikido's philosophy of blending, circular movements, and minimal force distinguishes it as a martial art focused on harmony and effective self-defense. It is valuable in real-life situations and serves as a dynamic element in fight scenes for films. So, what really happened when Steven Seagal fought Bruce Lee? Friends with James Coburn as well, who uh, was one of Bruce Lee's that. students, indeed, indeed. That's how I met Bruce Lee, was through James Coburn. I was going to ask. In an interview with Michael Schiavello in 2012, Steven Seagal claimed he met Bruce Lee through someone named James Coburn, and that they had a sparring match. I, I thought Bruce was a really great guy, a really cool guy. And I thought James Coburn was a great guy too, and I'm really sorry they're all gone. And... Upon further investigation, several inconsistencies were found in Siegel's story. Firstly, the timeline does not match. The relationship between Bruce Lee and James Coburn deteriorated in 1971 due to the cancellation of the Silent Flute film project. During that period, Lee was also taking a break from martial arts due to a severe back injury sustained in 1970, making any physical activity, especially sparring, highly unlikely. Additionally, Siegel claimed that he and Bruce Lee shared a strong bond because of their children. Lee did bring his son, Brandon, around, and Siegel mentioned this in his accounts. I had a son that was half just exactly the same age as Brandon, and when I met Brandon, he had lighter hair, and said, this is my little Caucasian boy, <laughs> you know. And... Brandon Lee was born in 1965, and Steven Siegel was born in 1952, meaning Siegel was only 13 years old at the time. It is highly improbable for a teenage Siegel to have had a close relationship with Bruce Lee or his family. Based on available data and evidence, it is clear that Siegel and Lee never engaged in the fight Siegel claims. Bruce Lee's rigorous training schedule and his back injury, combined with Siegel's own training regimen and relocation to Japan, make their interaction highly unlikely. Siegel moved to Japan with his father, who was there for military reasons, and they decided to stay permanently. Soon after, Siegel earned a seventh degree black belt and the title of Shihan in Aikido, a Japanese term used to honor senior martial arts practitioners. Siegel subsequently became the first foreigner in Japan to successfully run an Aikido dojo. <laughs>